You are not alone in finding out your feeling with a piece of plastic from time to time. By the end of this video, you will find out why your cat eats plastic, if it is dangerous, what to do they ingested them, and how to make them stop eating plastic. So, why does my cat eat plastic? There are many reasons why cats nibble on non-food products. In general, the medical condition called PICA is coined to cover the urge to eat non-food items. Cats aren't exempt from this disorder, in fact, it is pretty common to see them nibbling through a lot of things. Here are other health issues that might shed light on why they continually eat plastic. Underlying medical problem. Studies have shown that PICA is related to having leukemia in cats. Feline immunodeficiency virus, an infection that can weaken their immune system, is also associated with this disorder. Triggers for cats to nibble on non-food items include tumors and diabetes. Dietary issues. One of the common reasons why they chew on toys and plastic bags is that they are not satisfied with their diet. Some cats even try to eat their litter. And this is associated with anemia in those cats. When you see your cat chewing on something after their meal, something might be missing in their diet. Stressed out, some cats need to take their stress out by building a habit of chewing on plastic materials. Other environmental factors are also associated with eating plastic. Your cat may also be bored or anxious. Other than that, they may also need more attention and physical stimulation at home. Genetic factor. While not all cats bite on plastic materials, this behavior is prominent on some cat breeds. Experts have investigated that this behavior could be genetic in nature. Cat behaviorists see a pattern in some group of cats, and this common behavior may be in their genes. Plastic factor. You may wonder why they have a common target, like plastic bags, to chew and bite on. The plastic itself can be appealing to cats. The sound of the crumpling plastic delights them. Sometimes, if food was stored previously, they are well attracted to that plastic because of its smell. The texture of the plastic is soft for their paws, making it a pleasant sensory experience for them. Curious personality. As there is a link on a genetic basis, some cats are naturally curious on how some plastics work. They try to combat the plastic until it is well torn apart. Kittens usually try to explore both the inside and outside portion of the plastic until they tire themselves out. Dental issues. Teeth problems can arise in cats and they sometimes take comfort in chewing off plastic. Other dental issues can also be problematic. Kittens can be teething and they will sometimes chew on softer material like plastic bags. Are there safe plastic toys for my cat? There are a lot of chewy toys that your cat can play on instead of plastic. Some toys may even have a similar texture with the common plastic items that they chew on. Some plastic toys are also toxic and are not meant to be chewed. Check out the label of each toy to know if they are safe for nibbling and chewing on your feline friend. Is it dangerous for a cat to eat plastic? Eating plastic is generally dangerous for cats. Chewing can be okay, but the risk of swallowing such plastic can never be neglected. Some plastics can be a choking hazard for your cats. Ingesting plastic materials can be dangerous for the gut as well. The lining and the enzymes of the stomach and the intestines are not designed to break down the plastic. It could also cause a gastrointestinal obstruction that can lead to further gastrointestinal disorders. What happens when my cat has ingested plastic? Plastic is toxic to the body. If your cat has ingested plastic, depending on the size, some of them can be passed off as stool. But some plastic can cause an obstruction in your cat's gut. Some plastic can have sharp edges and can cause injuries in the lining of the gut as well. If you are unsure if the plastic has been ingested, check the surrounding area and search for the pieces of plastic that was chewed by your cat. How should I know if my cat has ingested plastic? Check for the odd signs in your feline friend that will make you think that she has ingested something foreign. It is easy to detect signs of plastic or foreign body ingestion if you know your cat by heart. Consider that she has swallowed something that is not food if you notice vomiting, diarrhea, excessive drooling, anorexia, loss of appetite, and behavioral changes. What should I do when my cat has ingested plastic? When you see your cat chewing on what seems to be a choking hazard, remove the plastic immediately. Once he already ingested the plastic, it is best to go to the nearest veterinarian to have it removed. They will most likely induce vomiting on your cat to take the plastic out. If the risks outweigh the benefits of vomiting, they will most likely perform a surgery on your cat. How should I stop my cat from eating plastic? There are a lot of options that you can do to prevent your cat from eating plastic. It is important to notice the tiny quirks of your cat like licking, chewing, and eating plastic. 
This will alert you to try these tricks to stop this behavior early on. Limit the access. The primary thing that you can do when you see your cat being interested in plastic is to take it away. Put your plastic bags far from their reach and limit their access so they cannot chew and munch on them. Remind everyone at home to keep it off your cat. Modify your cat's diet. Because pika is associated with a dietary deficiency, it makes sense to try to alter your cat's diet. Incorporating more texture and more flavor and increase your cat's appetite. This will also prevent them from chewing on plastic after every meal. Use more toys. Consider having larger toys that do not impose a choking hazard. It is also advisable to have toys that mimic the texture and feels of a plastic. This alternative will keep them interested for a good amount of time. Prey mimicking toys can also help your cat from chewing on plastic because it allows them to exercise hunting and their predator instincts. Have more interactive play. Play more with your cat because this behavior can result from boredom or lack of attention. Playing with them can encourage them to be more active and will distract them from unwanted or hazardous behavior. You can experiment with play during meals to have a more interactive eating experience. This will also take their minds of chewing unnecessary plastic. Scratching posts can help. Having a scratching post at home can keep your cat entertained. Scratching posts are known to keep their stress levels at bay. It also encourages them to be more physically active and vigorous. Behavior correction. Modifying their behavior at a young age can greatly affect the way they view plastic. If they are being prompted and startled early on, they will associate this behavior with a negative experience. But some cats respond poorly in this technique. It is best to observe them and know their body language to ensure that they will still obey you with every behavior modification technique. Bitter spray. Bitter tasting liquids that are still safe can be sprayed on the plastic to keep them off. This will temporarily deter the cat off, but this solution is not applicable on the other plastics around the house. Make sure to continue doing the other tips to halt the behavior. Is there a normal chewing behavior for cats? You should be able to detect a normal chewing behavior in cats so you will be reassured that it is not an eating disorder. When kittens are teething, it is common for them to chew or be uneasy because of the growing teeth. Offer a chewy toy or a teether so they won't munch on plastic bags. Dental issues can also cause your cat to chew on non-food items more often. Consider other issues listed above so you can better delineate a normal chewing pattern in your cat. If you liked today's video, be sure to give us a like and subscribe to get notified on our latest content.